Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, this is about a young girl named Trinity. Now, there was an Instagram live video that was circulating and it shows her being verbally and physically abused by her stepmother, stepmother and her father. I've seen it. Yes. And little Scrappy had posted about it. And mm-hmm. then Deb Antony, we know her, you know, that's Waka Flocka's mother, who also managed a lot of notable artists. And we've mm-hmm. seen her on Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, she actually managed to get the young girl, Trinity, and, and take care of her. Here's what happened. She's good. And if we can stop making all the fake pages, let them know you're good. She's more than protected, honey. She's good. All state don't have nothing on me right now. <laughs> now, Trinity's father has since posted, and here is his explanation of why he was throwing his daughter to the ground and sitting on her chest, restraining her. Stop worrying about her. She ain't yours. What you're looking at is a concerned father. What you're looking at is somebody who will go beyond boundaries, whatever measures to make sure that my child gets it. Okay, before she get it from somebody else, she ain't ready for the streets and she ain't ready for me. What was she going to do? So you go to some random stranger's house because you want to smoke some weed. You don't know who these people are. So what if it was them doing it in their garage and not me? Now, what kind of punishment? Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't know what kind of punishment that is. I don't beat my daughters. You know what I'm saying? No hands will be put on my daughter. I beat my oldest daughter. I spanked her one time when she was like three and I felt so stupid. Okay, it, because one thing you realize when you get older is the way our parents raised us with all those beatings, that wasn't the move. It was actually cruel and unusual punishment. I wasn't supposed to get a beating with an extension cord back in the day, and then my dad make me go take a bath. That's yeah, that's torture. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll pop, I'll pop my daughter. I has I haven't had to pop my daughters in a long time, but watching that abuse and the fact that you taped it and thought it was okay and put it on live and then have his, have the stepmom mm-hmm. slap her like. That is abuse, bro. And I understand I understand you saying I want my daughter to walk the straight line because we all want our kids to walk the straight line. But doing it that way, it's not going to accomplish anything. When, when your no. parents say this will hurt you, this will hurt me more than it will hurt you, that's absolutely true if you've ever put your hands on your daughter. And also, too, you know what you realize? They're just kids. Mm-hmm. So you can't really punish a person for what they don't no. You know how stupid you look popping a three-year-old, a four-year-old because they did something wrong? They don't even know they're doing something wrong. You can have a conversation with them. You, how you going to tell kids to use their words, but you're not using yours? No, it's, no. sometimes they know what they're doing wrong. They do it on purpose. All right. Now, Justin Bieber was in a reflective mood, and he posted on his Instagram account, I came from a small town in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. I didn't have material things and was never motivated by money or fame. I just loved music. But as I became a teenager, I let my insecurities and frustrations dictate what I put my value in. My values slowly started to change. I let ego and power take over, and my relationships suffered because of it. I truly desire healthy relationships. I want to be motivated by truth and love. I want to be aware of my blind spots and learn from them. I want to walk in the plans God has for me and not try and do it on my own. I want to give up my selfish desires daily so I can be a good husband and future dad. I'm grateful that I can walk with Jesus as he leads the way. And then he posted a cover of Casey and JoJo's All My Life. Listen to this. I'm going to tell you something, man. I like Justin Bieber. Dropping the clues bombs for Justin Bieber. I think Justin Bieber uh, is absolutely one of these white people who gets it. He's a white person who uses his privilege to combat prejudice. And I think he really, 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 really just wants the best for everybody. He's just a good right. human. I, 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 I salute Justin Bieber. All right. Now, Michael Cohen's book is out today, his memoir, Disloyal. And some of the things that he talks about in this book is he says that Donald Trump said some things about his then 15-year-old daughter. This was back in 2012. They were at uh, Trump's New Jersey golf club, and he caught him staring at his daughter. And he said, and he said Donald Trump said, when did she get so hot? when he learned that uh, the girl that he was staring at was Michael Cohen's daughter. And then in another part of the book, he said that Trump would leer at contestants at a Miss Universe pageant, saying that he could have all of them. We all have heard that story before. How old was Uh, he? He also said that Trump, 15. 15. Oh, you owe me five minutes. I was going to say, Michael Cohen wants me to be mad at Donald Trump for saying that to his daughter. No, I'm mad at you for letting him say it. Word. Like, you owe me five (laughs) minutes. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with your hands, Michael Cohen? Absolutely. Okay. Donald Trump wasn't the president then? Or was he? According, uh, eight years ago, no. According to Michael Cohen, he said Trump also cornered and forcibly kissed multiple women at his office. 
right now they didn't say which office this took place in. But, you know, of course, you know, the White House press secretary gave a statement. Michael Cohen is a disgraced felon and disbarred lawyer who lied to Congress. He has lost all credibility. And it's unsurprising to see his latest attempt to profit off of lies. There is nothing wrong with him uh, telling those stories now. But he also has to hold himself accountable and say that he was uh, complicit in a lot of those things. Because if you sat around and you watched that behavior back in the day, you know what I mean? Now, according to to Michael Cohen, who is Donald Trump's ex-lawyer, he also said in this book that Donald Trump made disparaging remarks about black world leaders, including Nelson Mandela, the former South African president, and U.S. minorities in general. According to Michael Cohen, who, by the way, is serving a three-year sentence for making false statements to Congress, uh, he said that following Mandela's death in 2013, Donald Trump said Mandela F the whole country up. Now it's a ish ho F Mandela. He was no leader. He also but you said, went along with one, all of that, Michael Cohen. He also That's allegedly so said, tell me one country run by a black person that isn't an ish hole. They are all complete effing toilets. You went along with all of that, Michael Cohen. And now that things aren't, haven't worked out between you and uh, Donald Trump, you airing them out. I don't, it's hard for me to respect people like that. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.